A rack and rack, or a mathematics rack, is made up of two rows of ten beads. Five white and five red on top, five white and five red on the bottom. The purpose of this tool is to help students subitize and build numbers based on groups of five and ten. One way a rack and rack can be used is for students to represent numbers. Let's represent six. At first, students will count by one. One, two, three, four, five, six. With enough practice, students should be able to see groups of five and represent six by saying five, six. The second way a rec and rec can be used is to compose numbers. I could write the number seven on the board for the students and then the students would move the beads and then I would record all of the ways to make that number. So I know this group of white beads is five, six, and seven. That is one way to make seven. Five and two is seven or five plus two equals seven. Another way the rec and rec can be used is to find the missing added. Let's look at this word problem. Kelly had five crayons. Kelly has seven crayons at the end of the story. Six, seven. That means that Lisa gave her two crayons. A fourth way a rec and rec can be used is to help students by adding doubles. First, I will represent six on the top row. Then I will represent eight on the bottom row. Five, six, seven, eight. Now I will move one bead back and one bead forward. And now I have doubles. That means I have 7 plus 7, which is 14. And that can be a lot easier for students to add than 6 plus 8. Students can also look at their record rec to check. 5 and 5 is 10. 2 more is 12. 2 more is 14. A rec and rec can also be used to help students subtract by using addition. For example, Let's say we have 15 minus 9. First, the student will represent 9. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then, the student will slide over enough beads until they get to 15. That was 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 minus 9 is 5, 6.